the highway, the backbone of the American economy and lifestyle. Mobility is the key word, providing a choice of residential and industrial locations, broadening employment opportunities, enabling the rapid shipment of goods and produce, In Pennsylvania, the 45,000-mile network is essential to commerce and recreation. Through the cycle of the seasons, it provides easy access to the many scenic, cultural, and historic sites Pennsylvania has to offer. Travel here can be an outstanding experience through three seasons. But what about winter? The effect of winter storms on the highway system touches all of us, whether we drive or not. Chances of traffic tie-ups and accidents are greatly increased. Emergency response time of medical, police, and fire vehicles is much greater. Fuel consumption is up as much as 25 to 50 percent. Normal commercial and industrial operations are impaired by delays in deliveries. Religious services, social functions, and sporting events are often canceled. This condition could make the Commonwealth a disaster area in a matter of hours. But it's the responsibility of the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation to keep state highways open for travel. Snow removal is a complex task involving thousands of people and over $50 million a year. This massive effort operates year-round on its own unbroken cycle of planning, preparation, and final confrontation with the elements. It begins at the end. The end of the winter season initiates the preparations for the upcoming winter. Early in the spring, all snow equipment is inspected, parts are ordered, and repairs begun. Inventory is taken on the huge stockpiles of salt and anti-skid materials. Replenishment of these stockpiles continue through the summer months. Bulk storage buildings serve as distribution centers. They keep the materials from caking and protect the environment from salt runoff damage. Spreader trucks are calibrated to release specific amounts of salt or anti-skid material. 
the minimum amount of material required is used in each case. This not only saves money, but decreases damage to the surrounding environment. Also at this time, PANDOT's county supervisors begin plotting snow maps which show equipment routing. These are then reviewed with the equipment operators. Early in the fall, all the planning done so far on paper is put to its initial tests. The county maintenance offices conduct dry runs of the snow routes. This enables the equipment operators to become familiar with their routes and to note any hazards. By November, all is ready for the winter to come. When the snow finally arrives, PennDOT snow removal operations are put into action. The problems encountered change drastically with weather conditions. During severe storms, high winds can be the most dangerous and frustrating of the elements. Drifting snow moved by these winds can virtually eliminate visibility. And in some cases, eliminate the roads themselves. Keeping these roads open entails round-the-clock clearing operations. Heavy snow fighting equipment is essential under these conditions. Only the huge V plows and snow blowers stand up to drifts which can completely bury most other vehicles. After a major storm, it may take several days before secondary and rural roads are open and traffic returns to normal on the main highways. Light snowfall or ice storms pose a different problem. Not enough snow has fallen to completely close the roads, but the slippery surface of the highway can be very dangerous. Here the salt spreader trucks and plows are mobilized. The 
time put into calibrating this spreading equipment really pays off in these conditions. The amount and type of material used depends on the storm conditions and the class of highway being treated. Just enough salt is placed to melt the snow or ice and keep it from compacting until the next plowing. Even in the worst of winter, to most of us, relief is just a season away. But as the snow months come to an end, the cycle is merely beginning again for PennDOT. The economy, the safety, the lives which depend on Pennsylvania's roads never permit this cycle to end. Preparations are just starting for next winter. <laughs>